running earlier, and to both sides, both Republican caucuses picked up a seat uh, this this uh, in November. I think a good part of the reason is that Donald Trump did well among union households. Uh, how does that play into any decision making on right to work? Well, I think that's an excellent question. I think our governor has, uh, has kind of addressed this in a certain way, particularly with, with surrounding states, is a lot of them are not referendum states. And we've been down this path, and something gets referendum. Um, ultimately, if the people of Ohio want this, I think it'll be a ballot initiative at some point in time, and we'll find out what people want to say. Um, I think that uh, that may very well be where it ends up. I, I don't know, but um, uh, it's certainly a, a new dynamic, I would say, in this last election that uh, we haven't seen before. But I don't think that, you know, that if you polled people and asked them what right to work was right now in Ohio, I mean, some would know that, that follow politics closely, but a lot of people wouldn't know what it is. All they want is a fair shot. They want a fair shot to have a good job and support their family. I mean, when Donald Trump came to the Mahoning Valley, he came to the Canfield Ferry, he drives in in a limo, he gets on the top of the limo with the megaphone, he says, we're going to put everybody back to work here in the Mahoning Valley. We're going to make America great again. 10,000 people cheered, he got back in the limo and he left. The next day, Biden came to the UAW and 500 people came. I knew we were in serious trouble because his message was resonating with people about jobs and giving them a better opportunity or giving them something more than they have. And, and the issue that I've seen with a lot of the Trump crossover voters and some of those union households that voted for Trump is that you know they may be in a position where they got hired in a company in the early 2000s for 12 bucks an hour. Now they're at 13 or 14. They work every day and they're worried about that factory closing and they're worried about that facility closing. And so Donald Trump's message of jobs gave that, that was enough for them to take a shot on somebody that has no values that are similar to theirs. But he did say he was going to make America great again and give them a better opportunity. So I think that those voters are, um, you just have to have conversations with them and um, you know get to the nuts and bolts of what's really important to them. And I think it's jobs and safety and good schools. And so you just drive those issues. And, and let me expand on what Joe said. I mean, the, the name right to work, right? I mean, it's a bit of marketing. It, it, it sounds like something you would want to support. I mean, who doesn't want a right to work? Right? <laughs> what these kinds of pieces of legislation and, and a ballot initiative gives folks an opportunity to educate the public on what something really is. Donald Trump made a lot of promises in the election. Uh, I'm going to bring jobs back to Ohio. I'm going to bring jobs back to America. I'm going to make America great again. And so the expect and those union households crossed over and voted for him. But there's an elevated expectation that you're going to bring steel jobs back to Youngstown. Well, guess what? In two years, if steel jobs don't come back to Youngstown, if 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 car manufacturing jobs don't come back to to parts of of the country to Dayton. Um, people are going to be upset. And if you start piling on other things that diminish their wages, that diminish their condition, um, people are going to be really upset about that. And so, you know, I, I, I think uh, uh, folks should be careful about going down that road. I mean, expectations are more elevated than ever because of this election. And there's a real expectation that, that stuff is going to come back in, in, in a meaningful way. Um, what you don't want to do is go the other way. I think that just exacerbates people's frustration. And I think to Senator also, you're related to the fact that we do have some border states that are already right to work, whether there's pressure there. I didn't say that, but Jim did. Jim did. <laughs> right. Jim did. Okay. Do you want to address the question or not? I'm going to stick with my answer before. I voted against Senate Bill 5, and I think the people of Ohio have clearly spoken on this issue. 